Hi guys, Tom here, America's favorite hoarder. I was just watching a video on YouTube from Ian Matthews. And no, not Ian Matthews the musician. Ian Matthews the scrap man. And we look a lot alike. But he inspired me. And I remembered something that I saw when I went to the store after work. So I ran down to get it. Well, I didn't run. I better run down the stairs after I got done with my beer. But ran down the stairs, into my car, and down the street, about two blocks. And lo and behold, it was still there. So let me show you what I picked up. It would seem some homeless man lost their cart. And now it's mine. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. What? It's one of those uh, ones you hook up to a bicycle, I believe. They could be wrong. Yeah, yeah I'm probably wrong. Okay. Got another milk crate out of the deal. Who doesn't love milk crates? And the Sharpie. It was in there. I'll place this precious item over here in this pile with the washing machine and the handlebars to the lawnmower and the bicycles but back to the matter at hand this wonderful cart yes I believe it is one of those ones you hook up to a bicycle and ride around with well I know it's hard to believe, but I do have several bicycles that are functional. Well, they could be functional if I pumped up the tires. But that being said, I think this is what's left of a shopping cart. I think a wheel went there and a wheel went there. There's still two wheels in the back and yep, yep, it's what's left of a shopping cart. Somebody did a fine job of fastening this handle to it and just for safety I'm gonna wheel this thing over here so it doesn't roll away it rolls very nicely I could actually use this in my basement mm, that's a major idea oh my god bottles and cans bottles and cans I'm gonna set this like this for the time being I also we got another treasure from the same pile well a couple treasures. I've got a cart, a milk crate, a sharpie. Don't know if the sharpie works. You're gonna love this. Duck, duck, goose. You say? Where is it? There he is. Look at him. It's kind of hard to see with the. I'll put him up here as my mascot for the time being. <laughs> I got a thermos, stainless steel. Something in it. Probably alcohol. No one uses bums that are too lazy to work around here. But I will take the stainless steel off of that, scrap that, throw it in the pile. And I guess you could call where I'm at in the Midwest United States cow country because, yeah, you guessed it. Uh, I know it's not a human head. And, well, there might have been a human head at one time. And I now have something to put over the door of my shed when I get my shed done. It's a skull. Well, the top half of a skull. Uh, the nose and... I don't know what you want to call it. It could be an alien. I don't know, I think it's an alien. No, it's not an alien. Pretty well clean, no? There's no brain. Uh, there's no eyeballs. Been sitting out in the field somewhere forever. So, that's my new mascot. Maybe, when I get my shed done, I'll put that there. And speaking of shed, yes, it is beautiful. It is beautiful outside today. I'm getting somewhere with my shingles. Almost halfway done with the roof. But hey, 
a cart made of steel. Again, don't mind the bottles and cans that seem to be everywhere. I don't know where they keep coming from. We'll set him down there, or her, it. I guess these are where the horns grow out of on the side. I'm not really sure. Really big though. I know it's not human. But hey, that's all for now. Thank you, Ian Matthews, for inspiring me to go get that cart. Feel sorry for the poor old bomb that lost his cart. But hey, never should have left his cart. And now the cart is my cart. That's all for now. Keep hoarding. Thanks for watching. No, not beer bottles and beer cans. Scrap metal. Uh, got a little bit over there, a little bit over there. And uh, bones. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Scary. Bye bye.